I wanted to enlighten the hips, uh, our most ambivalent, complex part of the body, where we saw the light of the world when we came out of our mother. And then also our garbage is located next to our sexual organs. And this ambivalence guides us through, through life. Um, in German, we also say schmutzige uh, Wäsche waschen, that you bring out your secrets. I hope that these lights give kind of a feeling that we shouldn't suffer of our dirty linen too much. So this is the chandelier kind of the sister or brother of the ones outside. The chandelier was first. And with the idea that uh, the video light normally absorbs so much power and time of us, or the, the screen that we use that light, put it up and then under it, people can meet again and dance and, and speak a symbolic gesture. On one side, I want to treat the public spaces like a collective living room. On the other side, I want to destroy the white <laughs> or make them less clinical. On the other way, it's also easy with the video because you can open the walls, you can change uh, architecture. In a way, I use the material of the home cinema dimension, that is all not professional, projected, and then bring it back to the museum again, and reuse it in spaces that more people can come together. But it's more a service I'm doing. It's, I'm not sure if it's art, but uh, to use electronics, uh, give them other meanings and free them from uh, certain forms. The rectangle, we only invented that it's easier to change the content. It actually makes no sense that uh, uh, our screens, our computers, our TVs are rectangle. It's only because it's more practical. I'm interested how somebody perceives different, if you can relax, if, if that helps for a deeper contemplation. And especially in art context, where the big difference to TV is that the visitor brings the body to a collective space and then take these bodies serious and give them different possibilities of, of behaving, of position. And our world is quite very much horizontal orientated. And so much space is just not taken serious. This is part of my Innocent collection. It started in 85, clearly influenced by Richard Hamilton, who did the White Album for the Beatles. I, I collect all containers, either translucent or white, or 
or wooden with nothing printed on it. And uh, it's an obsession and helped also, helped me to overcome my materialism or the materialism of the others. And I don't know how you feel, but when I watch it, I feel a bit like uh, cleaned. And here, it's, it's called suburb brain. It's a projection of coming out of the garage. And uh, you see families eating together and their uh, plates are burning. A short poem, a poem about my childhood. We have the tendency to make the necessity look like the good choice. And I hope I can give it a small counter force to that. It's a phenomenon of the human that we get used so fast to any constraints, limitations. And we think it's okay, but we could try harder.